Good morning, boys and girls. Today is May 29th, 2020, and it's time for Math with Miss Morales. Our learning objective for today is I can solve a CGI math word problem. We're going to begin our lesson with a CGI math warm up. And this warm up we're doing is called Which One Doesn't Belong? So I'm going to show you a picture of items. And I want you to think, which one doesn't belong? You're going to have 60 seconds to think about the image. And this is our picture. I want you to take the 60 seconds to think which one doesn't belong and why. Okay, time is up. Now let's think, which one doesn't belong? Maybe you thought that this picture doesn't belong because it's a picture of a digital clock and all of these other pictures are what we call an analog clock. Or maybe you thought that this picture doesn't belong because it's a picture of an old time alarm clock. Or maybe you thought that this picture doesn't belong because it is a blue clock and all of the other ones are have black and white on them. Or maybe you thought that this one doesn't belong because on all of the other clocks, the hour is nine o'clock. For example, this one is shows nine o'clock. This clock shows the time 9.30, which means the hour is 9. And this one also shows 9 o'clock, while this one shows 3 o'clock. So the 3 is the hour. There are a lot of things that you may have noticed and a lot of options for which one doesn't belong. Now, let's do our CGI math problem. Listen as I read this problem to you and notice how I left the numbers out. Eduardo has blank crayons. How many more crayons does he need to have blank crayons? Now that I read our problem, I want to know who or what is our problem about? And I will underline this information. Who is our problem about? Correct. Our problem is about Eduardo, and he has blank crayons. Now I'm going to read our problem again with the numbers. Eduardo has four crayons. How many more crayons does he need to have? 12 crayons. So now I added in our numbers, but I need to know what are the important numbers in this problem and what do they mean? What do they stand for? Correct. I box the important numbers. So I put a box around four crayons and I put a box around 12 crayons. Because this tells us what numbers we are working with and what do they mean. Now that I know who our problem is about and what our important numbers are, I need to look for clues 
that tells us what kind of math we are doing. As I read, I want you to think about those clues and what kind of math we are doing with this problem. Eduardo has four crayons. How many more crayons does he need to have 12 crayons? As I read this problem, I thought about some clues and I highlighted them that tell me what kind of math are we working with in this problem. I highlighted how many more crayons because that tells us what kind of math we can do with this problem. And that gives me a hint that we are doing subtraction. And I highlighted the phrase need to have because that tells me the answer. The answer is going to be the number of crayons that Eduardo needs to have starting at four crayons to get to 12 crayons. So again, here is our problem. Eduardo has four crayons. How many more crayons does he need to have 12 crayons? So again, we are doing a subtraction problem. And I'm going to use, show you a subtraction strategy that you can use to solve this problem and being the other number choices. So first, I want to draw a picture. First, I want to start with the bigger number. And that is 12 crayons. So I'm going to draw a picture of 12 crayons. Count these crayons with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 crayons. And this is the total amount of crayons that Eduardo needs to have. But if I look back in our problem, Eduardo only has four crayons. So he needs to have 12, but he only has four. So we need to figure out how many more crayons does he need to have 12 crayons. And what we can do is I can cross out the four crayons that Eduardo already has. So I'm going to cross off one crayon, two crayons, three crayons, four crayons. And the remainder is our answer of how many more crayons he needs to have in order to have 12 crayons. So I'm going to take these four away because remember we're doing a subtraction problem. So it's kind of like we're taking an amount away. And now let's count how many crayons does Eduardo need to have 12 crayons after we've taken the four away. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Eduardo started out with four crayons and then he wanted 12 crayons. So after taking four away from 12, we have eight. So Eduardo needs eight crayons to have to get to 12 crayons. So this is what a number problem would look like. We started out with the number 12, and then we took away four crayons because Eduardo already had these. And our answer is what he needs to have in order to get 12 crayons, and we said that that was eight. So you would put your answer here. You can do other math strategies to solve this problem, like drawing a picture, counting backwards, relating facts, your addition and subtraction facts. You can have a parent help you draw a number line. You can use a hundreds chart, count objects in your house, use tally marks or any other strategy that you are comfortable with. Here's a picture of a numbers chart that you can use to help you with the subtraction problem. So now it's your turn. I would like you to solve all of the number choices of this activity. So we did 4 and 12 together. Now you can do 8 and 17, 12 and 24, 25 and 31, 
and a bonus, which is your choice of numbers. Please let me know if you have any questions about this lesson or the activity. Take a picture of your work when you're done and upload it to the portfolio page. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.